Filet mignon, bro. What's going on, Fort Worth fam? It's the kid, Big Boss Fabio, Fort Worth Fabio, and I'm back here with a video for you guys, man. I have a Hell's Kitchen reaction um, to Joy Mistakes Filet Mignon for Turkey. So this is a taste test competition within the show of Hell's Kitchen. If you're familiar with Hell's Kitchen, man, it's a cooking show um, orchestrated by Gordon Ramsay, right, where he invites a lot of chefs to stay within, like, a little dormitory or whatever and cook and compete until they make it to the finals and win um, all of Hell's Kitchen. One of my favorite shows from Gordon Ramsay. I'm a big fan of Gordon Ramsay. If you know anything about me or if you're now getting acclimated and familiarized with my channel and me, hey, man, I'm a big Gordon Ramsay fan. I used to do a lot of early Gordon Ramsay reactions on this channel. So now I just felt the need to get back into them, man. And um, they're posting all the He posts all the time on the Hell's Kitchen channel. Um, they're posting all the time on the Kitchen Nightmares channel, and he has a personal Gordon Ramsay channel that he posts on as well. So I'm thinking about incorporating a lot of these videos onto my channel. As you know, I'm passionate about food and cooking. So um, like, comment, subscribe if you have any ideas of cooking stuff I should check out or look into as far as Gordon Ramsay, etc. Put them in the comment section below, man. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fort Worth Fabian, man. Um, this one's funny just in the sense that the taste tests are hilarious because a lot of people think they have great palates and they can taste food and just understand and know but when it's blindfolded it's crazy how i guess how it switch up switches up your palate in a sense you know it's weird to think that it does but a lot of people get simple things that i would think i would get right they get them wrong you know what i'm saying so i don't know man it's probably definitely harder than it looks so let me know your thoughts comment section below man let's get to this video start off with a easy one pat I'm Hair. standing there, I got a blindfold on and the headphones, and Chef is feeding me. Like, can you say awkward? It's awkward. Pear, Chef. Good girl. Um, it's... Pear? Yes. Good job. One to one. Second. Arugula. Arugula, bro. Parsley, Chef. Oh. That one's Ooh. tough. Kale? Ugh, arugula. Um, no, that wasn't right at all. Carrots. Mm. Carrots? Butternut squash. Yes. Good girl. Unseasoned mushy carrots. <laughs> <laughs> well done. We didn't need all the extra additives, bro. Just tell us carrots and we're good. <laughs> I'm just playing. But nah, man, it's funny. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Some things that you may think that you would know. Arugula is a tough one, though. Arugula is one that I don't even know what that is. You know what I'm saying? So how would I even know what, what I'm tasting if I tried it? It's crazy, though, to think about that. Filet mignon. Filet mignon, bro. Come on, Joy. Dry as turkey, chef. Turkey. Filet mignon. Really? It's beef. I'll take beef. Well done. Heads us off. I got through it a forward. I'm just like, oh, OK. <laughs> that makes me happy. Good job, Rochelle. Thanks to Rochelle. It's gotta be rough because you wanna like thinking about filet mignon, a beef like that's gotta be very easily recognizable. You know what I'm saying? But she said turkey, so I guess in the sense that how it's cooked too could affect like your palate, your taste, the texture of it, etc. But you gotta feel like a dummy if you find out that you mis you mistaken um, filet mignon for turkey. Well's impressive performance. The blue team is up by one. She cries. Anton, Gabriel, let's go. And now it's time for Anton and Gabriel to prove how refined their palates are. Start off with something simple. Anchovies. Tuna? Ooh. Wrong. Anchovies. Thank you. Mackerel? Anchovies. Having failed on the first item, Gabriel and Anton hope to recover on... Mango. Peach? Melon? Oh, man. And... Easier. Fresh peas. Parsnip or something? Potato. Come on. Now, Anton and Gabriel are eager to avoid being shut out. But can they get a point with... Mozzarella. Mmm. Mozzarella. Correct. Mozzarella. Cheese. Is Italian, right? What kind of cheese? Um, mozzarella? 
correct. You each got one out of four. Dude, I didn't do that bad, did I? Buddy said cheese. I should have smacked him right there. <laughs> like, no. Duh, dummy. Stupid ass boy. But um, a lot of these, like mango, etc., like, I would not see myself mistaking mango for peach, bro. But like the 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 way these pieces are cut too, uh, the way these uh, pieces of food are cut is what I meant to say, plays a part into it. Cause you're you're, I feel like when you eat and you've already noticeably know how a certain food is presented when you eat it, texture plays a big part in presentation and feel. So like. You know, I feel like that could throw you off a little bit as well. This score, four to the blue, three to the red. Let's go, Scott and Jason. My background is in meats, so if it's meat, I got it. I'm feeling good. Mmm, hot dog. Oh, <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. Nice. I don't know, fish. 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 <laughs> Hot dog. God you is lost. Okay, four to four, guys. Next up, radish. Radish up. Oh. Well done. Cucumber? Radish. Son of a bitch. Okay, macadamia. I had no macadamia idea what the fuck nuts. was going in my mouth. Walnut? <laughs> Dang. Pecan shell. Chef Ramsey just oh, laughing at him. Oh, <sighs> Let's round off with something easy. Green bean. Lime Better get bean your shell. green bean casserole, green my boy. Bean. Damn. Come on, Jason. You got one. I can't one. see it. One. Squash. <laughs> oh, my God. It's always embarrassing when you get all three wrong, man, because as a chef, having a palate is a huge thing, and Gordon always emphasizes that, bro. You gotta be able to taste, you know? Always taste your food, because if you ain't tasting it, why are you sending it out? What is it, like, you don't even know if it's good or not. You're sending something that, you know what I'm saying? So taste and being able to know textures and stuff like that plays very largely into being like a big chef. I don't think I've ever heard of a chef that was good that didn't have a good palate or didn't taste their food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see a lot of chefs that do that, though. They won't taste their food before it goes out and it tastes like trash. And then Gordon's like, did, he asked him, did you taste it? He's like, no, I didn't taste it. So he's like, you, you dumb. You real dumb, my boy. Jason got zero points for the team. I was disappointed. Damn it. Sorry, Jason. Come on, dude. Like, you're supposed to be better than that. Mm. Well, you let his team down, man. You gotta be better than that. You can't get done right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let you be rocking with your team, you know? So that's Joy Mistakes Filet Mignon for Turkey Hell's Kitchen segment. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Forward Fabian. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, man. I appreciate all the support. And now we're actually not on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We actually hit 10,000, man. I, I'm just always in that mode and play of saying we're on the road to 10K. But it's like, bro, we hit it the other day or actually today. So I appreciate all the love and support, man. Check out my Gordon Ramsay playlist and just stay in tune and stay connected with what I got dropping on the channel, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with me. God bless everybody. Stay safe. Peace.